Yo, what is going on guys? This is Ken Darling. Today I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay on the map Recovery. Today I'm doing a dual commentary with my boy Gorilla97J. Yo, what is up guys? Alright, today we're just going to be talking a little bit about Advanced Warfare. Just our opinions and, you know, first impressions. Again, basically, uh, you know, this is more of an updated version though since we both did it fairly, fairly close from when the game came out. Um, so, I'm just going to get straight into it. Uh... I'm going to boost my rating because I rated it 7.5, uh, you know, my first match in. I'm going to boost that up to an 8.5. Um, just, you know, I love the balancing in the game. All the guns, you know, they kill almost exactly the same. You know, everything is just good. You know, you land the first shot, you and, and for some reason he starts shooting you and you're losing a lot of health, you just have a sick-ass chance of getting away, unlike Ghost, where you almost die immediately. Um, gun variations are my absolute favorite thing in the game. I love the fact that you can have one really shitty gun and then the next minute when you get a supply drop it turns into the most badass gun in the game. L lately I've been using the HBR A3 with Insanity. It basically has a plus one damage and plus one or plus two fire rate and a down one handling. Um, this gun really is not that great off the bat but when you have a little nice elite variation like that it just makes the gun all the better. Um, so I haven't gotten a DNA yet. Um, but right now I'm first prestige, level 47, so I'm obviously going to prestige tonight again. And uh, when I'm second prestige, I'm going to relax a little bit and just, uh, you know, go for those DNAs and those super good gameplays and uh, stuff like that. Because I really want to get back into this game. I really want to uh, just start making videos and stuff again. Um, so that is that. Uh, one other thing is the customization in this game. You know, I just love the fact that I can make my soldier uh, something unique. Um, I'm a little bit ahead of the game. I mean, not really, but compared to all my friends and shit I am, so, like, I can, you know, customize my guy out, like, looking super swag, but, um, you know, eventually, uh, my fucking dumbass friends will catch up and make their shit exactly the same as mine, and I have to change it. <laughs> um, so, I guess, you know, actually, there is one more thing. I really wish that Domination didn't have halftime and a time limit again, like it did in Black Ops 2. I wish it was just more of the basic, uh, sort of a... I guess just until someone gets at least 200 points um, but you know that's really it for me um, I mean besides all that good stuff camos are cool I mean they're not great or anything I haven't really unlocked a lot but I just kinda like the camos that come directly with the variations um, and then when I was talking about earlier insanity it comes with a gold and red camo um, it's just so sick I'm really not impressed with the gold. I don't like the fact that you can get it so easy. I always like the tradition of just gold being like that achievement, that satisfaction of using a gun for a while. But unfortunately, it's basically it's really easy to get. And royalty and diamond are just all right to me. But uh, you know, variations, man, they're they're just badass. So what do you got? Yeah, I agree on most of the thing that you said right now. But the thing that I really not too big dislike about the game i just don't like how there's only three shotguns in the game sure there's variations of the shotguns but i just really think that they should really branch out into like more shotguns um like back in black ops one what was that one shotgun that you could like dual wield and stuff like that the h10 yeah that one that one that was actually pretty kick-ass and i really liked uh, playing it uh, especially with the dual wield and um, but you know, I don't want to seem like a noob dueling the weapons But yeah, I just like the variation of uh, shotguns and how like you had to stake out the limpers yeah. and like just other stuff like that um, I really think that the game is limited to the game modes because mm -hmm. Like to be honest you only have like what maybe 15 uh, game modes the max right or yeah, probably yeah, a little bit so. less Yeah uh, I just really wish they brought back some of the, you know, COD fan favorites, like, uh, like Demolition and Sabotage. Those two were very, like, uh, team-based oriented, and they're really good when you're playing with a, a team. Because, you know, when everybody had the mic on, everybody was uh, on the team, everybody was just, you know, everybody's just owning the game. So, I don't know, that brings the COD community together, in a way. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I think it's pretty good, but... As I mentioned before in uh, my, like, kind of after Advanced Warfare review video on my channel, um, I kind of was iffy about buying the game because of the EXO abilities. The reason why is because, to be honest, I just like the bare bone minimum in a COD game. Yeah. I just like the run and gun and just like that, basically. I was kind of a little bit scared to, like, buy the game because I, I wasn't into the whole uh, idea of, like, the EXO abilities 
and just you know like hopping around the map and stuff like that sure i knew there was going to be some balancing um like uh like regulations basically but i didn't know that it was going to be this kick-ass like to be honest it doesn't even bother me anymore sure there's a playlist where you could just like uh like a playlist without exo movement but to be honest i don't think that's necessary because i <laughs> Pretty much everybody likes the EXO abilities. Like, I completely changed my mind about the game. And trust me, like, the guns, sure, they're kind of advanced. But, like, not really. But mm -hmm. they're pretty good. You get me? Yeah. So, like, on, on the EXO abilities, my... I, I was very nervous about them, you know. As soon as I found out the game was called Advanced Warfare, I don't know. I was kind of tripping. I was like, you know, I'm really excited that it's a new COD. I'm just not sure about the whole futuristic shit like in Black Ops 2 because I didn't really like it a lot. Um, Black Ops 2, in my opinion, was a complete fail on that part. It was basically the same thing, but everything was reskinned, and they just said 2025. Yeah, um, I just, I just like the EXO abilities because I'm a really fast-paced player. Like I mentioned in my first impressions video, you know, I'm a rusher, like stuff like that. So if I can use, you know, uh, what is it called, boost or uh, blast suppressor? That's what it's called. If I can use blast suppressor yeah. and just hop around and shit and completely be hidden from the enemy. Uh, you know, it's good for me because, you know, I'm, I'm above the enemies, I'm sliding around the enemies, I'm dashing around the enemies, and I can just completely get behind them and flank them and, you know, stuff like that. So that's why I like it. And I like the customization of them as well. They look uh, just super sick, you know, when you have, like, gold pieces on them with, like, matte black pieces and stuff like that and your emblems on it and stuff. One thing that I wanted to add on top of that mm -hmm. is that, yeah, like, you could run the Blast Suppressor and also run, like, uh, Scavenger if you really want to. And, like, you want to go for those high streaks, but you don't want to, you know, go around the map and pick up uh, weapons. I really like how they carried over the wild cards. Like, I really like how they, you know, just transferred wild cards from, like, the previous COD and just kept them in the Advanced Warfare. Because, to be honest, wild cards are a uh, big, big, like, uh, like... For me, they're kind of a necessity because I like to run, like, a lot of perks. And, like, basically wild, wild cards for me are, like, the shit. Yeah, I really actually personally do not like wild cards because I like... You said the bare minimums on... <laughs> you like, <laughs> fuck you. You like the bare minimum on uh, EXO movement. You know, you just like to run around the map like a faggot. I like to <laughs> use basic three perks, but I like the fact on most, you know very prior cause that i can get the pro perk because uh, you know then it kind of is uh, it's just a, a pr it's a pro perk exactly exactly it's exactly what it means you know you just have that extra little bit there so i mean it's cool that i get to use two perks like i actually use scavenger and blast suppressor um but i'd rather have the limitation uh without the 13 the pick 13 and the wild card and stuff like that i liked uh, black ops 1 create a class and modern warfare 3 and just the easy sort of stuff Do you have anything? Or? No, that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please check me out on Twitter and Facebook and all that shit is down below. If you wouldn't mind taking 1.2 seconds out of your day to check out Gorilla's video and drop a like on both of them. It would be very <laughs> greatly appreciated. Um, you know, he's, he's, I'm, I'm going to put up an annotation and, uh, you know, stuff like that. And uh, you do your outro. Peace. Alright.